Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's UXB Premiere video, I'm gonna show you how to add effects. This is gonna be for how to apply effects to a video, but the same concepts apply for audio. And with this setup, you'll be able to select a video, hit add random effect, and start applying just a random effect based on all of the built-in effects. This is going to use similar techniques to the UXB Premiere Transitions video, so check that out if you haven't already, but we're gonna use a similar way to get match names from that and then apply them to a video, create an action, and run that action. Before we get started, make sure you check out the links in the description. Support me on AE Scripts where I have free and paid plugins. Uh, super useful stuff that can help you out and support me. Make sure you subscribe and become a channel member down below as well. I post an accompanying tutorial video with each of these videos that I post showing the sort of setup process, learning process, and you can get a lot of extra tips and tricks by watching that. You'll also get videos uh, much more in advance than the public does, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with almost a clean slate. Um, I've made enough tutorials at this point where if you've been following, you should be familiar with a couple of these uh, variables that we're getting here. So we're gonna start by getting a couple of common variables that if you've been following the tutorials, you should already know how to get the project, the sequence, a video track, and a video track item, aka a clip. Just as a quick recap, if you're unfamiliar but are decent at coding, uh, you can get the project by saying Premiere Pro Global Object Project Class, and we're gonna get the active project. Within that, we're gonna have an active sequence here. And to get the active sequence, you're simply gonna say project .get active sequence. Then because we just have a single video track with a single clip on it, we're gonna get video track zero, or the first video track, and the video track item, or this clip here, is gonna be gotten by saying video track, get track items. We're gonna get one, which represents clips, false to include empties, and because get track items returns an array of all the clips available, we're going to grab the first clip, aka the only clip. Now that we have the clip, we need to get the effect, essentially. So if you go into the UXB Premiere Guide, we have what's called the Video Filter Factory. If you saw our transition video, uh, we have a transition factory, and this allows you to get any of the installed transition match names uh, for your version of Premiere. The Video Filter Factory is the same thing. We can basically get all of the match names that are contained within it. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna create a variable called match names. We're gonna set this equal to await, and this is our video filter factory. So we're gonna get the Premiere Pro Global Object dot video filter factory. And the call here is get match names. Pretty simple. Now, if you go ahead and console log at the match names, you're gonna get a huge list of all of the match names of each of the effects installed for your version of Premiere. So if I run the code and hit it, you can see match name is not defined. Ah, that's because I use match names. So let's fix that reload and hit the button and now as you can see we have 107 different effects installed here are all the match names now we're just going to want to apply a random one of these if you have a more specific use case of course get just that match name um, but in this case we're going to say const effect match name and we're going to grab a random one of these match names to do so i always say match names and out of all of those match names, we're going to grab math.floor, math.random, times the match names.length minus one. So now if I go ahead and console log my effect, effect match name, all we have to do now is make sure that we're getting a valid output for that. And we know that we're getting a random effect. As you can see, we have Adobe Lighting Effect and we can continue on and get a bunch of different random effect match names. But unfortunately, we can't just say, hey, here's a match name, apply this effect. What we actually need to do is create a component, the other method here in the video filter factory. So what we're gonna do is use that match name variable to our advantage. We're gonna say const component, because we're creating a new component, is equal to await Premiere Pro, we're gonna access the video filter factory, and we're gonna say create component. And of course, the terminology in Premiere is basically a component is an effect. So even the transform, the opacity, the time remapping default effects are all components. But to create a component, all we have to do is supply our match name. So we're gonna say effect match name, 
and now we've created a component. But this is just a variable for the component itself. Now we need to take that component and slap it onto a piece of footage. And we already have our piece of footage or our clip in this video track item uh, variable. Let's go ahead and see how we do that. If we look above our video filter factory class that we've been dealing with, we have video component chain. This is the super useful part of where we actually add or inject our effect. What this has inside of it is a create append component action and a create insert component action. These are two different ways to apply an effect. The first one here just appends it to the list of existing components. But for example, if you wanted to put in the effect in a certain stack of all of the effect hierarchy, you could use this one and give it a number to tell it, hey, maybe I want this effect at first position or third position or 10th position. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're just gonna use create append component action. But first we need to get the sort of injection component chain. Uh, so we have this video component chain, right? It's a, it's a class and Speaking generally, a video component chain is just the list of effects applied to a clip. But as you can see, in all of this code, there's no reference to our actual clip. So what we need to do is go to the video clip track item class and check out get component chain. With this component chain, we can then apply our effect and inject it or append it there. So what we're gonna do, is gonna, again, we're referencing our video track item. We're gonna say, const component chain, we're going to await our video track item or our clip. And what are we gonna do with that clip? We're gonna get the component chain. And now that we have the component chain, we can create an append uh, component action. So I'm gonna say const effect action is equal to await. We're gonna reference our component chain. And what are we gonna do? We're going to create append uh, component action and all we have to do is provide it with our component action, which we have here. We created our component, now we wanna add it. Before we finally execute this, I'm going to console log our component chain and I'll console log our effect action, just to make sure these variables are valid before we try to apply anything. So I'll reload my plugin, hit the button to execute the code. And you can see we have a video component chain and an action, that means we're ready. If you haven't already seen the tutorial on actions, click right here to check it out. Actions are kind of a big deal in UXP for Premiere. A lot of functionality requires you know how to use actions and understand what they are. So we're simply gonna use our, our sort of library execute action function, provide our project, as well as our action itself, which is our video application action. And now we'll clear our console, we'll reload the plugin, We'll make sure we have this clip selected and hit add random effect. Boom, mosaic applied. Hit it again. Boom, ultra key. Boom, lens flare. Boom, transform learn. So there's a ton of stuff uh, that you can start adding and messing around with here. That's how you can apply a random one, a random effect that is to your component chain. So quickly to review, you just need to make sure you get a clip or a track item. You can access all of the match names within uh, Premiere to get a random effect match name, generate a component object, which is basically just a holder like this right here. And then once you get the component chain of any given clip, you can create an effect action to create that effect, execute the action and apply an effect. Lastly, as you know, this is the video filter factory and the video component chain. Of course, there's also an audio component chain and audio effects. So. Your challenge is to go off, and if you require it, of course, check out how you can achieve the same thing using audio effects. Thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe down below, join the channel to get behind the scenes content and videos ahead of time. Also check out the links in the description for things like AE scripts where you can purchase or get my free uh, plugins that will help you out. Check out the GitHub link and everything else. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.